Hello and Assalamualaikum guys Welcome to Dark D Media Channel How is your MCO? I hope you guys are still in a positive mood and be a good citizen by staying at home Today's video is about another smartphone by Realme In fact, the second smartphone Realme launched within this MCO period and the phone is Realme 6i The phone comes in a standard yellow box just like other Realme smartphones and the same continues inside the box as Realme only provides basic accessories, documentations, acting watch charger, USB Type-C cable, and transparent silicone case. I'm not sure if being the first for something is significant to the consumers, but definitely it is for branding as I believe it shows their capability ahead of their competitors. Same goes to Realme. For this Realme 6i, they show as being the first phone in the world to be powered by a Helio G8 chipset. Is it a good thing or just another marketing gimmick? Before we test on its performance, let's have a look at Realme 6i design. What can I say about its design? It's neither beautiful nor ugly, but it's truly unique. Now, you can have a luggage bag that fits in your pocket. Yes, the design resembles a luggage bag or maybe some classic power bank. Haha. <laughs> Actually, as I mentioned, the design is very unique and very classy, inspired by Naoto Fukasawa's special inspiration extracted from ordinary life. It has embraced the unusual method of spray coating and the phone has been polished hundreds of times. As a result, the phone's back displays advanced matte visual effect that give the device a very silky and smooth look. This classic design is beautified by two color variations with unique naming as well, the green tea and the white milk. Realme 6i comes with a quad rear camera at the back and mini drop notch front camera. Instead of a side mounted fingerprint like the more expensive Realme 6 Pro, Realme 6i retains the rear fingerprint sensor just like the Realme 5i. And for me, the fingerprint sensor at the back works pretty well. Like other 6 series, the power button is located at the right side and volume button on the left. Realme also maintains a 3.5mm audio jack at the bottom, in line with USB Type-C charging port and speaker. The Realme 6i has a massive 6.5 inches mini drop full screen with 89.8% screen to body ratio. Its screen ratio allows the display to show more information while maintaining a slim form factor that feels okay in hands. As other full view displays, Realme 6i provides an immersive experience when watching videos or playing games. Realme 6i also comes with IK mode to protect your eye when using the phone in long periods. What I always like about Realme is they don't hesitate to provide a huge battery in their mid-range smartphones. The 5000 mAh battery in Realme 6i is sufficient for all day usage without any concern of running out of battery. Even when that happens, the phone comes with a 18 w quick charge that raises the charging speed and reduces the charging time. As I mentioned before, Realme 6i is the world's first smartphone with Helio G8 chipset. When it comes to MediaTek, I know many people think of inferior chipset. However, in this segment, MediaTek has actually upped their game pretty well. Realme said this octa-core CPU offers 35% better single-core performance and 17% better multi-core performance than the previous generation. The Mali G52 GPU also delivers 25% better performance. Coupled with 4GB RAM, the result is smooth gaming experience and a more stable frame rate, all at good image quality. This makes the Realme 6i a fine phone for gaming, especially within this budget. It comes with only one storage variant of 1-8GB storage that can be expanded with a microSD card up to 256GB. Ok, now let's see their performance in synthetic benchmarks.
I run Android 10 with Realme UI on top of it. I haven't got a chance to test this smartphone for a longer period, but for the past 3 to 4 days of using it, I have no complaints whatsoever. I believe it won't be a problem because the UI is very close to stock Android. As for gaming, I have tested in 3 games, PUBG, Mobile Legends, and Asphalt. While there is a little lag here and there, it's still playable and to be honest, it is on par with other smartphones in this price range. Let's have a look. I was the latest flagship ultra clear quad camera setup comprised of a 48 megapixels main camera in 8 megapixels ultra wide angle, a macro lens that has 4 cm shooting distance, and a black and white portrait lens. The camera app has some useful features such as digital zoom, face recognition, and tap to focus. The rear camera is able to fire 1080p FHD videos at 30fps for video recording. For selfie lovers, Realme 6i is equipped with a 16 megapixels ultra clear front camera. Realme's AI Beauty algorithm software enhances your selfie smartly by recognizing face and customizing beauty effects from natural to even become like a K-pop star. Let's have a look at some camera samples. I continues what Realme intends it to do, affordable and rich with features. For me, Realme continues raising the bar in this price segment. If you are interested to purchase this smartphone, stay tuned at Dark official website www.dark.com.my. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy the content and in case you have any questions about Realme 6i, feel free to leave your comment in the section below. Don't forget to hit the three precious button, like, subscribe, and the bell icon so we can continue producing good content in this channel. Stay safe, stay at home, and see you in the next video. Adios!